Alright, so here we got the 30 block, and we're about to put the head on, just transferring some shit over, like a few water pipes, knock sensors, oil pressure sensor. So this is what the crank collar looks like. This has got the extended crank collar on. It's been machined and fitted. Compare it to a normal crank. You can see the um, the drive itself is actually about half the size of the the actual drive on the oil pump itself, which is a bit a bit of a flaw with the RBs, but. You can easily fix that by installing one of them. This box obviously got the relocated cam tensioner. Let's get the right belt tension. This is a 25DE block. As you can see, the pistons protrude from the block quite a large amount. If you compare it to the RB30 pistons, they don't protrude much at all. So hopefully that will yield an ideal compression ratio for turboing it. Also place the oil restrictors to slightly smaller ones. I'm using one mil restrictors. So we'll see how that goes. As you see in the DE block, the restrictors are quite large. And apparently, you get quite a lot of oil, too much oil in the head if you don't put smaller restrictors in. This is what I've heard, so it's sort of just following a basic guide on the net. So it's really just fucking try it. So if you want to get those restrictors out, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can drill it, but be sure to get the exactly the right drill bit, the right size drill bit. Otherwise, when you buy new restrictors, they'll be too loose, and then you turn the shit quite easily. So what I made is made a little tool, a little pulling tool to get them out. That's the old restrictor on the bottom. got two welded two little nuts so a piece of steel the bolts and that nut there is a M4 by 0.75 I think so you just get a M4 tap drill that restrictor out to the size that an M4 tap requires which would probably be like three and a half or three point something three mil probably then tap that to M4 then make yourself one of these and wind that bit into it and then crank these up but make sure you put something on your block surface so you don't drive these into the block face it's quite a simple tool, it didn't take long to make and it gets the restrictors out perfectly so you don't accidentally oversize the hole and then you won't be able to get your new restrictors in. Well you will but they'll just be, end up being too loose and then you have all sorts of problems. So that's that for now.